it is, right? Wow. This year has gone by very quickly. Now, good good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ricardo. We're going to be covering two and a half miles of downtown San Antonio. That's going to take us roughly about 25 minutes to complete our tour. Now, I know it's hot and humid out here, and there's very little I can do. What I can do with the speed of the boat is go a little bit faster, and what that would do is bring a draft onto the boat, as if I turned on a fan, and it'll keep us nice and cool. Do you guys uh, agree with me going a little bit faster? I like the way they think. You know what? If you guys don't answer, don't, they did for you. Let's go a little bit faster. Yeah. Don't go faster. Well, welcome to San Antonio. Bienvenidos. Willkommen. You say that in German. Bienvenidos is Willkommen. Bienvenue in French. Namaste in Hindu. Shukriya. That's a different part of India. Now. Say that in Filipino. How about you say that in Filipino? Mabuhay. One more time. Mabuhay! Mabuhay! Wow. Thank yeah, you! you get it. Now, that's how I learned the other ones. Mabuhay uh -huh. from now on. You remember we're the same boat. Now ladies and gentlemen, we're going to cover two and a half miles. It's going to take us 25 minutes. We are going to come close to other boats and many things along the way. So please be careful with your hands, elbows and arms. Have them safely inside the boat. Keep in mind, we're going to go under 27 bridges. Some of them are very low and dangerous. So you want to be careful. Careful with your cameras. Careful with yourself. You don't want to run into any of the bridges, okay? There's 27. Remember, 27 of them. Some of them are going to be low and dangerous. It is up to everyone to take care of yourselves and others beside you so you don't run into anything along the way. Of course I would warn you as much as I possibly can as I am doing already. Now you're probably thinking this is a man-made river. Well I hope you don't place any bets on that because it is natural. The San Antonio River is all natural. Take a look here to the right hand side. That's a vaquero, a horse, three long horned cattle. That's a 600 year old cypress tree here on the right. A clear indication we are on a natural river, not a man-made one. This river has been around for over 10,000 years natural. It starts two miles north of the city and it ends at the Gulf of Mexico, north of Corpus Christi, at the San Antonio Bay. That's where this river ends. Okay, now be careful with this bridge. Olo, 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 olo. I want to remind everyone. Low bridge. Remember in the in Chicago. Here on the right hand side we have a metal sculpture. It was built to remind us what took place here. On June 13, 1691, the city of San Antonio was established. That was 330 years ago. European establishment. But human inhabitants of this region and of this city can date back at least 11,000 years. Mm. And their access to the river. Yeah, ahead of us. Pretty cool. The Bear County Courthouse. It opened in 1896, Bear County Courthouse. It's still in service today. Now, the most iconic building here to the left was. Uh, was built in 1929. This building here on the left was built in 1929. It cost 3.2 million dollars. It has 16 gargoyles hanging out of every corner of the building because it has an octagon shape. The uh, construction ended in 1929 of June and October, just a few months later, the stock market crashed and the, con and the uh, owners of the building go bankrupt. Not able to afford it, they lose it to the construction company 
who then leases the property to HB to the uh, Sears Robot Company from Chicago in 1942. Today, it's insurance companies that occupy the building. downtown area some people come out here and they look around and say hey I haven't seen that many mosquitoes out here. Yeah. Yeah. Have you noticed a lot of mosquitoes? In spite of the slow running water and plenty of bodies to grow. Around here we have bats that eat mosquitoes and it is the reason why we have a, such a low number. Every one bat, every single bat eats several hundred or even thousand or more mosquitoes every day. It's estimated that three million bats have to eat at least one ton in mosquitoes in order to sustain themselves. Pretty impressive, huh? Now here on the right hand side we have the construction of the of a hotel. Here on the right hand side. Yeah, we're going to check in. Right next to the river. Yeah. Look at this beautiful building, overhanging. Wow. Now the bridge here in front of us is where Chris Bennett is proposed to the Eddie Canadian. In 1992, the bridge right in front of us here. Chris Pettis proposed to Selena Quintana in 1992. They were out here promoting a single, an original song of hers called BDB. And this is where also Jennifer Lopez reenacted this event in 1997. The walkway was built not, not because of tourism. The walkway was built because of World War II. In 1938, World War II breaks out in Europe, and the United States still back as much as it possibly could. By 1941, they could, they could no longer hold back. They had to take part in this dreadful event. The United States deploys tens of thousands of men and women out of San Antonio. By the end of the war, GIs would come back to San Antonio and the walkway was here waiting for them. The year was 1946. That's when the walkway began to draw in people. As a tourist attraction, didn't happen until just 53 years ago, in 1968, when the World's Fair was held here. Before that, this was all military activity. Today, San Antonio is doing it. Every week we have military men and women coming out of training out of San Antonio. Every week. Yes, my niece. Now when we pass this bridge, if you look to the left hand side, look at the 
look at the angle of the building here and follow it up. It's going to look like a paper thin wall. Oh, yeah. This here is the next hospital. It opened in 1930. This is cool here, huh? Notice the cypress trees beside These cypress trees are approximately five, six hundred years old. They can live over a thousand years. Marianas. Who was that, sir? Marianas. Did he say Mariana Trench? Yeah. Where is it located? In Pacific, Pacific Ocean. Ocean. In the Pacific Ocean, absolutely. Let me tell you where it's at. Uh -huh. Japan, the Philippine Islands, uh -huh. and right beside that is the Mariana Trench, the deepest place in the ocean. It's called the Challenger Deep. 36 Thousand feet deep. Wow. Did, did you know that, lady? I'm no. Have your own tour. And the reason I mentioned that is he said he was from the Philippines. And I remember. Uh huh. Which is the tallest mountain in the world? <laughs> Ma, you know that one? Yeah. <laughs> Where is it located? The Himalaya. Himalaya. Nepal. It's in Nepal. The Himalayan mountain. And it's 29,000 feet tall. Oh, wow. uh, That's not that I know what the tour is. It can sir. fit in the Mariana. So it's good to know where our planet is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? My cousin goes to Colorado because he goes and gets his medicine. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Now here on the right hand side we have Casa Rio. It opened in 1946. Now this is the restaurant that started the river tour concept, the river boat tour. It was in 1946, right after World War II. It's good. It's one of the first restaurants on the river. It's still a family owned business. We're going to take a left hand stop, a left hand turn, and going into, <coughs> we're going into the man made center. It's only a 15 minute drive from here. As I pause here, I hope you enjoy our ride. Don't forget to watch my next episode, and please hit the red subscribe button below, for it means so much for me. Until next time, thank you so much.